We'll use Celeste as a decoy. After she's abducted, I'll follow them right to this airship. <laughs> Ellie, do you need a hug? Yes. Are you mad? I'm... If someone <laughs> thinks should happen to Maria. I, I give you Orca a hug. That's why. That's why the decoy will hide Maria somewhere oh. safe. Kitty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I need to bring the tank back to life. You said she. I have found. Uh, uh, <laughs> why? <just> <laughs> what? This sucks. Oh man. <laughs> thanks to you, I found a new obsession. Celeste is losing her shit. I'm a general, not some opera floozy. <laughs> Not bad, Celeste. It's just gonna be like, shut up. I oh. just realized that the status I just lost from the boss fight was called Dark Missionary. Oh no, Ultros is back. I'll pretend to be Setzer and foil their little plan. Why does that look like a um, jellyfish? I faced him before. He was a pain in the ass. He looks like a jellyfish. Ah, oh, come on, read it. No, oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's like no. Uh, Ellie. Oh, sh I'll mute. No, 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 no. Look what's going on. I can't. I'm in a dungeon. <laughs> 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 okay <Opera. laughs> then. <laughs> it is very opera. Ah, oh, this scene. I know what part you're. I know what part you're on, though. <laughs> They're the only ones in the theater. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Hogwarts with the way the stage is moving around. I'm gonna turn this game up just a bit. You could always turn me down in by contrast. <laughs> <laughs> the West and East, we're waging war. Draco, the West Great Hero. <laughs> Thinks of his love, Maria. Don't you dare fucking die, you Is she buck safe? Clown. Is she waiting? <laughs> Fucking die, you ass sore! <laughs> <Chuggles. laughs> they killed him. <laughs> oh, Maria. Maria, Maria. Oh, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Try to sing it, or are you still stuck in the dungeon? <laughs> I'm fucking in a dungeon at the second boss of this dungeon. So if I start cussing and screaming for a whole new reason, shut the fuck up and let me. Uh, okay. <laughs> this thought it'd be fun for someone to vocally contribute, but you're doing your thing. I'll leave you be. <laughs> Just, I am so sorry. Poor, uh, poor. <laughs> I think it's a laugh today. This is fun. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Without context, it sounds very funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a minute here. Just imagine someone randomly joins the call right now, and all they hear is Ellie just saying monkeys. Saying monkeys? I've heard monkeys yeah. on her end. Yeah, I, I... Monkey has made it to... Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> monkey has made its way into my vernacular a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> I swear my voice is gonna get shot after this. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was like so upset today because I have to probably call the post office tomorrow because they're wanting to deliver my part for my PC on Saturday when we're not gonna be home. And I don't trust our area of where we live that it will stay there all day. So I have to call them tomorrow and be like, Hey, can you keep it at the post office until Monday, please? <laughs> Why this thing looks, I feel like I just wanted to code vein. What the <laughs> shit? Yeah, Retro Gamer Kevin, exactly. Porch pirates, I hate those. People in our uh, area that like to steal everything off our porches. Including dinner! Ugh. Okay, that's even worse if it's dinner, because you need to eat. Oh, <clears throat> uh, y'all want to hear my pizza story? Oh boy. This just happened today. Sure. <laughs> so, um, I, since I was doing a stream today, I was, I, my, my plan was just to order myself a quick pizza, you know, just, just fast, dirty, get, uh, get, uh, get dinner done, that sort of goodness. Yeah. Um, I was lit. I was by my door listening for the delivery. Got a knock. There was never a knock, and at some, and the thing was marked as delivered. So I go to submit a complaint. Ten minutes later, uh, there is a knock on my door, and it's my neighbor. <laughs> and they've got my pizza in their hand. And so I'm like, okay, I need to eat fast. My stream is in an hour. And I thank them. If I bring my food in. Everything seems fine, if a little annoying. When I open my pizza, it's fucking covered in ants and a couple of flies. Oh, Ew. God. Oh, that's just yeah. worse. Oh, no, I was fucking angry. What the Yeah, no. Don't don't eat it like that, please. Don't. I did not eat that. But I was so I was so angry I literally punched the clo the um closet door. I was mad. Oh no. God damn, I, that's a fury. I don't remember doing it. I just remember <laughs> my hand started to hurt and I'm just like, "Oh, shit. I punched something." Oh. <laughs> This is why, like, I always just constantly watch my DoorDash app if I ever order DoorDash. Because I've had people say they've, that they don't know where my house is, even though it's pinpointed on DoorDash. It's like, they go to the neighbor's house and I'm like, no, it's right here. But bitch, I'm over here. Yeah, oh, did I tell, oh, I think I told, I told Golden this, I think, but I don't think I told, like, like the week Sorry. before, like the week before we left from our Vegas trip, I had ordered a new swimsuit, and I was like, okay, I need this like in a, in a few days. So I ordered it, and I paid extra for shipping for like very fast shipping and delivering. Oh. The, US, the UP, UPS delivers it, but delivers it two ho houses down from us. What? And it's like. The address was right on the package, but they delivered it two houses down to our neighbor. Um, 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 um. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm like, excuse me, that's not where I live. And there's house numbers on our houses, so there's no excuse. That 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 is fucking infuriating. Like, oh, yeah. absolutely. And it's like I have a trip in like two or three days. Come on, I need the swimsuit. I'm gonna return the other one I got, and I want to make sure this one fits before I get rid of the other one. It's just, it was stupid. I was like, no. And now it's like, 
today my today my grandma told me like oh yeah your skill certificate from the college came i'm like oh that's good i can give it to my workplace tomorrow can't do it yet because they spelled my freaking name wrong on the certificate excuse uh, me what they spelled my name wrong on the certificate Oh I'm my like, god, that is a I'm story like, I'm, so, I'm so familiar with. I'm like, you guys spelled it right on the diploma that I got, but not the skill certificate. <laughs> so now now I have to call them during my lunch break tomorrow at work and tell them that they spelled it wrong and I need to reorder it. And probably pay another um, $10 for it. Mm, mm, mm. And it's like, I, I need this for work. Why? Why do you guys do this to me? Yeah, Makes really. matters worse. Like I was supposed to get this two months ago, <laughs> mind you. For real. It took two months to send out a piece of paper to me. It's like my day just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> See, Postmates keep delivering uh, to the streets on either side of me, and I got tired of it. But the drivers kept stonewalling me, saying they dropped it off at the right apartment number. But it was clearly the wrong building, so eventually Postmates wanted to keep my money and claimed I was abusing the reports. Ah! Oh, yeah. That's bullshit! Yeah, Snick told me about that before. Yeah. Uh, motherfucker! Motherfucker! I should point out, I used to be a door dasher. Not once did I start taking this for granted about locations. There are times yeah. I would contact saying, hey, can you tell me what number it was again, where to locate and such? Oh, and they were very I, understanding, you know? Did I tell you about what happened every time I worked at the college? Oh, God, do tell. So, every single time, because I, I worked at the Child Study Center, uh -huh. and I ordered, I always ordered Carl's Jr.'s for lunch, because it's, like, easier for me to eat that than order a whole freaking meal. And I, sometimes, sometimes, Sometimes I understand that they'll take it all the way to uh, the back of the college because our pin for the Child Study Center is in a weird location. And I learned to put put a very descriptive, like, text thing on there saying where to go. Like, meet me out in the front. I'm wearing a green apron. You know what this one driver decided to do? What? Go to the library on the college campus and leave my food just sitting in the library. Dude, that's gonna get stolen! <laughs> yeah, and I tried calling them and telling them that they know that they need to bring it to me and not leave it there, because I can't leave my job to go get it. And what do they do? They just say, well, I left it in the library and then hung up. And it's like, wow. Wow. And because of that, I got in trouble because I had to leave my job to go get the food before someone stole it. <laughs> and it's like, dude, don't, don't ever do that again. After that, I stopped ordering DoorDash. I mean, did you at yeah. least explain to the people? Did they not care? No, they didn't care. <sighs> wow. It's like, not my <laughs> idea of what I wanted them to drop it off at. I told them drop it off in front of the center. And to meet me out front. <laughs> and it's like, no, I'm never ordering DoorDash again. Never doing that yeah, again. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't blame you for that. That's some bullshit. Yeah, that was awful. There are times when yeah. Chrissy... There have been stories when Chrissy would place orders, and most of the time, it's like... It's not even just getting the order right. It's more so the fact that she would... Like, some stupid shit would happen. Like, she would have to get refunds. She would have to, like go through whatever loops and obstacles to make sure the order was correct on something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a funny story about DoorDash once. I was working uh -oh. still, I was working still at the college, but I was working in the bookstore instead. I, I ordered food one day because I forgot to bring food to work, and I was just like in a rush to get to work. So I ordered the habit. And I had ordered a regular hamburger, fries, and a drink. Okay, standard shit. They bring me my food. And then I realized, I don't have a drink. Ah, oh, Charming. <laughs> and I, by the time I realized this, and my boss pointed out, he's like, wait, you didn't get a drink? I'm like, no, I did. Um, they just didn't give me my drink. They drove away with my drink. Charming. I had to, order, I had to buy a drink at the bookstore I worked at in order to have lunch. <laughs> 
That is so fucking stupid. It was kind of funny, to be honest. I told my grandma about it, and she's like, How could they forget to give you your drink? I'm like, Your guess is good as mine. <laughs> See, at least I, you didn't I have someone mess into my order. I used a uh, mobile app at McDonald's <laughs> to order delivery. However, they got my double hamburgers wrong. I want them with ketchup, but it's ketchup, mustard, chopped onions, and pickles. I managed to fix it because I had ketchup on the house. Uh, good thing I did the same uh, thing with Wendy's a few days ago, and they got my order right. You know, the multiple, like, more times than usual. I mean, this is even satirized in Smiling Friends. Sometimes yeah. they place an order for something, and when you get the drink, they forget the fucking straw! How fucking yeah. hard is that? Like, I remember two days I've ago, my grandma... Me so many times. Yeah, like, two days ago, my grandma and I went to KFC, because it was after work. I didn't feel like cooking. I'm like, I want KFC. I'm starving. So we went to KFC, because we are like, I haven't done KFC in a while. Let's go mm -hmm. there. Our KFC in our area keeps changing own ownership and everything, and the people there are very rude half the time, and they uh -oh. just don't give a crap about anything. Oh, and yeah. we leave the drive-thru. Our drinks are not even all the way full. <laughs> and, like, they, they neglect to give us silverware for our mashed potatoes. What? But, like, the drink is, like, not even all the way full. It's, like, halfway full. And we're like, what the heck? This is not cool. And mine is even less than my grandma's was full. It's like, oh my god, no! That? <laughs> what? I'm like, okay, we're not going to KFC ever again. <laughs> not that one, anyway. No, we're not. It's like the same thing with Wendy's. I'm on, I'm on strike from Wendy's right now because they keep taking away my Frosty. <laughs> like wow. they keep changing, they keep changing the vanilla frosty out. And I'm like, change the chocolate out once in a while. Like I only go there to get a frosty and then all that because other places that have frosty type ice creams are not that good. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, can these places not make me not want to go, please? <laughs> like, well, we're trying to solve America's obesity <laughs> problem. Talk on it's like they keep they keep making it so that way I can't go to these places. They're like, oh, let's just make sure that, that she never gets to eat here again. I'm like, no. Why uh, do you do this to me? A few people in the chat have some stories to share. Stuff so from TPO. Uh, my father used to order Taco Mac from one particular street, and they always got his orders wrong. It got to a point where he dreads ordering them, especially when he calls them directly. When I ordered, I used their website, ordered from a different place, and they got our orders right. Weird. Retro Gamer Kevin. Um... This one time I ordered a bacon ultimate cheeseburger from Jack in the Box with soda because it um, uh, was too hot to cook. It took a bite uh, out of the burger and the meat wasn't even Oh, God! Yeah, I, I hate that. Dude, what the fuck? All right, Cowboy Engineer. The KFC Taco Bell in my town used to have a 90s interior and I loved it. They changed the building for a more modern design. Now it's... Yeah, no. Suck my yeah. dick, dude. Bring back the colors, man. The colors, Duke. The colors! Yeah. yeah. I, I can understand about the food not tasting right because that thing KFC order, I was eating it. I was eating the chicken tenders and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was starting to eat the mashed potatoes after I was done. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, these don't taste right. They turn, they tasted like they were burnt. And I'm like, I couldn't even eat the entire mashed potatoes. And it's like, I, like this is terrible. Why would, why would you do this? I just want mashed potatoes, man. Yeah, and it's like, it's like it makes me not want to eat. Sabin, why the fuck are you asking that question? Do you not know what an <laughs> offer is? Go ahead. I was gonna say because the game says so. <laughs> But it's like, I even told my grandma, I'm like, I'm not going back to KFC. They keep taking all my food I like off the menu. Climb up there, you son of a bitch! Oh, no, no, no. This way. <laughs> it's like, I want the wind current. It's like, you guys ever hate when, like, a place takes your favorite food off the menu? Like, permanently? Uh -huh. All the time! And then, you're just, and then you're just like, I why? Like, this is what I like to eat here, and now you're making me not want to come here. Shit. That's what they did to me at KFC. They took away the potato wedges, which I loved, and then they took away the popcorn nugget. Oh, something I used to love from uh, Taco Bell was their um their caramel empanadas. Hmm, they took away a lot of their sweets. I know. Oh, 
in our area, David, that doesn't really help. Shake, I have you recall to report what's happening in that place. Oh, um... Nothing helps in that <laughs> scenario in our area. Like, every every other area in our vicinity, like, oh. food-wise, has gone downhill. You did not detect any good KFCs within the immediate vicinity. That and also our McDonald's has gone downhill. That's a whole nother story because... How does McDonald's go downhill? It's already scraping at the bottom of the barrel. I mean, because it was the, What you expect? I mean, it was... Like, it was like, okay, so here's the thing that happened with McDonald's. Because usually, um, my grandma had to pick me up from work, and we had to go oh, over to my uncle's oh house for my. a day. And I'm not even kidding. Like, she uh, she was getting the food. Not only did they not give her the drink, or they gave her the drink, like, too soon for my order. They had her, like, like... They wouldn't like let her to get the empty cup to fill it herself because they don't have the vent the the soda machine working for everyone again. Wow. They took they took it out, so no longer <laughs> you can get your own drinks. Charming. And so by the time I got my drink, it was like all melted with ice. It didn't even have ice in it anymore. And like, um, we also she had also you also had to go back to get my food again because. They completely put everything on my order, even though we said nothing on it. <laughs> yeah. And the people there were so rude to my grandma when she was, like, trying to say, like, oh, they've never done this before, like, like, why, why won't you guys just, like, let me get my own drink to refill? And they're like, oh, well, our manager's telling us to do this. And it's like, the way she said it, she was, like, very annoyed with my grandma, it seemed like. And she, like, yelled at her, saying, what? What do you mean? And I'm like, that's rude. <laughs> it's like, I don't get what is up with these people in the fast food restaurants, but they're just very rude nowadays. Sadly, yes. Mm. It's just like, that's why, that's why more or less, like, I've been trying to eat more at home, because I don't feel like going to these places anymore and giving them my money, you know? <sighs> All right. I took a snapshot for every single line of dialogue, so that way I don't fuck it up. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, my hero, so far away now, will I ever see your smile? Love goes away into day. It's just a fading dream. I'm the darkness, you're the, um, you're the stars. Our love is brighter than the sun. For eternity for me, there can be. Only you, my chosen one. Must I forget you, our solemn promise? Will autumn take place of the spring? What shall I do? I'm lost without you. Speak to me once more. Here, pick, um, here you pick up the flowers, climb the stairs to the balcony, high atop the castle, raise the flowers <laughs> to the stars. Hurry, <laughs> you just have two moments before scene two starts. The impresario? How's it spelled? Empresario? Empresario, okay, thank you. You still in the dungeon? No, I, you d haven't heard me scream for a bit, have you? <laughs> no? I was just. Because honestly, I was hoping you or somebody could help uh, sing with the. Um, sing the lyrics. Uh, I would be singing terribly out of sync, my guy. <laughs> I think that would make it extra funny. An actor must read the script to memorize it. 